A portion of this video has been sponsored by PCBWay. This is a 3-axis robot I built using a completely 3D printed gearbox and some wood I had laying around the house. Powering it are three NEMA 17 motors exactly like the ones you might find on a 3D printer. Having 3 axis of control allows this robot to do some pretty complex moves, which means we can use it for a lot of different things. The reason this robot can be moved using just NEMA 17 motors is because of these gearboxes. These are really cool and I went into detail on how I designed them in a previous video. They are almost completely 3D printed, which means to build three of them, I need to do a lot of printing. I chose to print the structural parts of the gearbox out of Tough PLA, and then for the actual gears I used PETG. I also demonstrated my pure 3D printing genius when I decided to overlap parts in the print bed. <laughs> it's definitely the best way to fit things into your build volume. The remainder of this robot can be completely made out of half inch plywood. I decided to make my life difficult by incorporating some funky shapes into the design, so I used my CNC router to cut out all the plywood pieces. I cut the top and bottom mounting plates from half inch HDPE because I want to have tapped holes for mounting. Plywood would also work for these parts, but I had the stuff laying around so I decided to use it. And thanks to living in the Midwest, it was a cozy 10 degrees while I was cutting these, so I was just trying to stay warm the whole time. Before we get any further in the build, I want to quickly thank this video's sponsor, PCBWay. I've been using PCBWay to order PCBs before they even became a sponsor of this channel, and they've always done excellent work. They offer a wide range of services including PCB manufacturing, CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding, and more. If you need any of these services, check them out using the link in the description below. Once all the parts had finished printing, I was ready to start assembling the gearboxes. These gearboxes are actually a 72 to 1 gear ratio rather than the 80 to 1 ratio that I showed in my previous videos. I chose to change the design and make them 72 to 1 because it meant that I could use a larger gear module, which would reduce the chance of skipping teeth, as well as 72 to 1 ratio means that an even number of steps of the motor will correspond to a 1 degree turn of the output. This gearbox also has all the sensors and switches needed for closed loop control, as I showed in my last video. And as always, all the files for the CAD for this project can be found in the description below as well as some parts list. With three finished gearboxes, we are almost ready to assemble the robot, but first I'll give the wood pieces a quick primer and paint. To begin assembling the robot, I took the top and bottom plates and tapped them using M5 and quarter 20 threads. The gearbox and motor assemblies get screwed directly to the wood panels using a couple screws. And then the wood panels can also be assembled using some screws. For the pitch axis, a bearing is used to support the weight. Adding a few more 3D printed pieces clamped together with a few bolts keeps everything in place. And then on the other side of the arm, it can be attached to the motor output using some M3 bolts. 
For both the yaw and the roll axis, I used some bearings that were meant for Lazy Susans to support the weight and keep the axial loads from transferring to the gearboxes. The HTPE plates can then be attached to the gearbox using some M3 bolts. To control the robot, I'm currently using a program called Garble running on an Arduino CNC shield. This software setup is really meant for controlling CNC machines, but it works for this open loop configuration I'm currently running the robot in. Wiring all the motors to the electronics means we are finally ready to tell the robot to make its first moves. Since the axes in this machine are in kind of a weird configuration, I'm not sure what they should really be called, so I've just been using Yaw Pitch and Roll. Since I'm controlling this with Garble, I can just write some G-code, which is the same thing your 3D printer uses, and the robot will follow those moves exactly. A great way to demonstrate this is by attaching a laser to the robot, and then using the yaw and pitch axis to point it. I can then give it some G-code to draw things with the laser. Now when it's running, you can just see the laser dot moving, but if I take a long exposure picture, it shows the entire path the laser moved. Alright, that's cool and all, but let's see what else this thing can do. That's right, it's got a hand now. But the bigger question is, can we pick up a Rubik's Cube? Another use for this could be to mount a camera on it and get some pretty epic time lapses. I won't stop till I hear him say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've got more projects in the works, so subscribe for that, and I'll see you in the next one.